Oh, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm finally, finally doing this. What's up, guys? It's your girl Georgia back with my own channel. I have my own channel, you guys. I'm so excited about this. I feel like I waited so long, months, months, months have gone by, passed by, and I was supposed to do a Q&A for you guys a long time ago to welcome y'all to my channel. But yeah, right now I'm in my comfort zone, you guys. I literally am sitting in my car. I like to be in my car. All my friends know that I like to sit in the car for some reason. I be on the phone with my friends in the car. This is where I get my peace. If it ain't the car, I be in the closet. But not that I need space for my family, from my family or anything. It's just this. I just like to be outside. I like to be. Yeah, my hands are actually. Just wash my hands. But yeah, the my kids are inside. I actually just picked them up from school, and I was supposed to do this video earlier, but um, some things came up and I wasn't able to but I'm here now and I'm excited um I don't know you guys y'all can comment down below ask me anything if I missed out on anything but first let me start off with this story time because I had to go to um the courthouse this morning I got my first ticket in Houston like what I'm a good driver. I haven't gotten a, a ticket in Florida in so, so long since I was like early 20s. And I got my first ticket in Houston. I was so sad because I was looking forward to a good driving record. But that quickly went out the window. But yeah, the cop. So let me tell y'all what happened. I literally went, I went to the grocery store and I was coming back. I was with my daughter and... The car, it was con some construction going on in the area where we grocery shop. And um, I was supposed to go straight, but I ended up being in the turning lane. Mind you, there's construction everywhere. I ended up being in the turning lane. I was supposed to be going straight. So I had to get over to in the lane so I can go straight. And this nice person behind me that was there let me over. So I went over and I started going straight and the cop was across the street in the construction park i didn't whoop, oh no girl they ain't know i was that actually my bad y'all but um uh the cop was across the street waiting and as soon as i crossed the light he came and was like pushed his brakes on me and i got scared i was like what are you what are you doing sir so he pulled me over and he was like, oh, it doesn't matter. I know there's construction, but you were in the turning lane. You were supposed to go right and you made left and go left. And I was like, sir, but it's construction. Like there's a lot of people that did that. Um, like he, he was just being a complete butthole to be nice. But yeah, he gave me my first ticket. And this morning I went and now I'm on a 90 day probation. I can't get no tickets for 90 days. I hope Houston treats me well because if I get another ticket, I'm gonna cry. Dude, ain't nobody got time for that. But anyways, past my story time. That was a mini story time. But um, let me get on with these questions that y'all wanna know. Somebody asked me how's life. This was, this was the only Jane. This was so long ago. Oh, y'all can't see it. Well, anyways. This was long, so long ago I posted this on my story and the only Jane, that's her Instagram name, she asked me, how's life? Life has been lifing. Good, like, I feel like in a good way, it has its ups and downs, like life is never perfect, but I feel like it's definitely a blessing and I thank God for everything. Um... I remind myself daily to pray in the morning, even before I pick up my phone. As soon as I open my eyes, I pray and thank God because good days or bad, I feel like no matter what, you got to thank God and be grateful for your blessings and grateful for life, just being alive. But, um, okay, 
Avish Kayla. She said, do you ever regret starting a family channel? No. I love my family. I don't regret starting a family channel. I don't regret starting YouTube. I feel like this is something that we love. Um, But I, right now, I'm trying to venture off and find me. Like I feel like I've found myself. I found me. I found what I like. I found who I am. And I'm okay with that unapologetically me. And I found my my girls. Like I have friends before, but I feel like my personality fits in well with like the people who I found that gravitated towards me and who I've had before. Like I have a balance of finding me. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm finding me. I'm still in the process. But um let's see what else. Are you still getting lipo? See, this is how old it is. Because I already got my lipo, y'all. And I was supposed to do a video about my lipo. Which that will probably be the next video that I do. Because I did say that I was going to tell y'all details. And that, that pain ain't no joke. I am not going on that table ever again. I pray to God that I don't need to do that medically. But just going under period like major surgery is scary and lipo is painful i don't i don't know how women go two three four times doing lipo lipo is painful it is that was like have going through labor all over again but a constant lingering pain i can't even explain it because i'm i still get swollen I don't know. That's, I'm going to save that for another video, y'all. Um, let's see. Do you love sports? Hmm. I love to watch my kids play sports. But for me to turn on like a basketball game or a football game, uh -uh. I'll watch it if I go to someone's house and they're watching it. I'll watch it, but it's not something that I will turn on. I've been put on to Tubi movies. Tubi movies are, I don't know. Y'all, I ain't even gonna go into detail, but them Tubi movies be having me like tuned in. I, my friend recently who's been pushing me to do this video, I know she watching. I know you watching me right now. But um, she put me on to, doing, to watching Tubi movies and I've been tuned into those. But um, who's your bestie? I have two besties. Um, one that you got. Well, no, I think y'all met both of them. But I have two besties, and then I also have maybe like four, five really close friends. They're all my sisters, all my girls. I love them. Let's see. What? No. Somebody asked me to tell them about my first, getting my first cycle. I don't, that's TMI. I don't know, y'all comment down below, but that that is TMI, I don't know. It says, why did you and Quinn take down the couples channel? Um, Because we weren't being consistent. The couples channel, I feel like having a couples channel, unless like you're doing like a podcast or something, I feel like it's kind of, pointless for us because um y'all see us on the family channel so it's really nothing it's no difference it wouldn't have been no different like i feel like we what we will do on the family channel we'll do on a couple channel so we just gave that channel to abby um yeah what was your biggest fear in life and did you happen or how did you and did it happen or how did you overcome it my biggest fear in life was losing a loved one i would say that and how did i overcome it there's no overcoming that um can you get through it yes you just have to learn to live without that person you have to adjust to life the new normal without that person. That's basically it. <laughs> My favorite late night snack. I am a 
Mmm. Late night snack. I'm not a snacker, but I would I would get some ice cream and almonds any day. Ice cream, brownies with almonds. Gotta have brownies. My mommy's texting me. And let's see, let's see. Why do I want to have my own channel? I think I said that earlier. Because, I don't know, I want to find me. I feel like y'all don't know me on a personal level. Y'all know me as Mommy Georgia. Some of y'all be calling me Auntie, and I don't like that because I'm not old. I don't feel old. I don't like to be called Auntie. But if y'all want to call, well, the younger girls, if y'all want to call me that, it's fine. But I'm still living. I'm still young. I'm still black, young, and beautiful. Don't call me Auntie. <laughs> um let's see how am i liking texas girl okay let's see i don't even know what to call y'all yet i was about to call y'all girl but how am i liking texas so i don't regret moving here because me and quinn wanted to move to texas well not to texas we wanted to move to georgia or texas for a very very long time before we did it we talked about it with so many people when a lot of when the wave was to move to georgia that of course like we had that that feeling like we want to leave too but we never had the courage to do it because all of our family is in florida so now that we actually did it and we're here i would say the first year was a, a no-no for us texas was not the move for us we wasn't feeling it i feel like it's it's nothing like Florida. There's no place like home. There's no place like Miami, like Miami, Fort Lauderdale. Like the vibes is there. The beach is there. Family's there. Like it rains a lot. That's the only downfall there. But yeah, Texas is, it's okay. You know, we island people. So there's not really much island food around here. We got to make it ourselves. And you know, sometimes we be a little lazy. We don't want to make our own food. But other than that, like it was a big big adjustment and i feel like now that we moved um i feel like the house we live in motivates us more um the area that we're in it's very it makes us feel comfortable we feel more safe um we feel we feel more at peace like we we adjusted to being away from family i, I don't know if it's because we've been away for so long or we just know that what we can get here in Texas, we can't get back home. Like we can, but we, but like Florida's expensive. Florida's very expensive and it's, that was another reason too. It was like, you can get more bang for your buck when you leave. Like, I feel like the adjust, when you adjust, when you take that leap of faith and you leave home, I feel like that helps a lot with your success because you're like in a different mindset. You're away from home. You're motivated more to do more. Um, I don't know. There's a lot. I can go on and on. But yes, we hated Texas at first, but we grew to love Texas. I'll just say that. Anybody that moved here and said they loved it off whip, they're lying. They're, they're completely lying to you. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just playing. Some people, everybody has their own opinion. But, um,. Hygiene tips. That was, it's not a question, but it just says hygiene tips. Um, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I, I was not really big on like spraying perfume. I've, I've been doing it for like the past year, but I've been, I was basic. I was like, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I was the most basic, basic tomboy I still like that because I don't even like wearing heels like that. I just recently started getting my nails long because it's cute. Um, I always got my hair done and stuff, but I was a mom for like, and only that, that's like what I saw myself as, like a mom. I used to come out the house in mom clothes, what they used to call it, sweatpants, t-shirts. And I'm so, I got the, I feel like I got so comfortable with that that i didn't really know how to take care of myself like to smell goods the the this the that like tiktok is really helping me find myself and what i like smelling good perfumes to buy like 
um, just keeping myself up and keeping myself together. Like, I would say the past three years or so, I've been working on myself. I changed a lot. Like, if y'all seen me years, maybe like, I would say like five years ago, you would have been like, mm -mm. but your girl, I'm getting better. I'm getting better. But yeah, I don't, hygiene tips, I'm not really big on perfumes and stuff like so if you ask me like oh have, do you have this perfume i probably never smelled it before or i probably won't even know like what you talking about i have perfume but i don't even know them by name by scent i'm not big on stuff like that yet but definitely take showers boo and that's that's my hygiene tip let's see oh my list is done i done scrolled it's a lot going on here, but a lot of stuff that I'm not going to get into. But yeah, this, that was pretty much it, you guys. I am, woo, child, I was lotion with elbows. I rushed out the house to get my kids, don't laugh at me. But, um, yeah, the, what I was going to say. Oh, that's it for this video. That's it for this video, you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed it. This is my very, very first video. I hope I didn't talk y'all head off. I don't think I did. But in real life, I'm not a talkative person. I am very observant at first. I don't really speak much, but once you do get to know me, it's a little different. It's a lot different, but yeah. You guys comment down below. Let me know what type of videos y'all wanna see, what I could do. Um, of course, you might see me with the kids here and there if I am doing something, but this channel is all about me. Finding me, doing stuff with myself, maybe my friends, yada, yada, yada. But I love you guys. See you in the next video.